from hopscene.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time something a little bit special it is a bottle of Brewdog's Dog A at a hulking 15.1% ABV. This was released in April 2012 to um, mark the uh, five year anniversary of Brewdog. I think it was released at the um, uh, AGM in 2012. I'm recording this in late 2013. I've had my hands on this bottle since its release. Just one of those beers that's been in my cellar for quite a while and it felt like it was the right time to do it. When I'm recording this, as I said, it's December 2013, Sunday night. I do like to have a nice Imperial Stout on a Sunday night. The fire's um, roaring upstairs, the log fire, and uh, we're watching the film so far. Why not crack this open? This is essentially a rebrew of AB4, AB04, which is a Imperial Stout with um, rock uh, with cacao, raw cacao it says. Um, what else? Uh, coffee and a, a subtle hint of Naga chili. So, I thought this was a little bit older than it is, but thankfully it's not. I think it's bottle conditioned. But yeah, so there's the bottle itself. Is it? Is it a label? Oh, it is a label. Looks great. I might. I think I'll probably save this box and the bottle. I mean, it's something a little bit special. There you go, just repeating what they did on the lovely box. I'll just close that up and put it in. Oops, excuse me, chucking it everywhere. Talk amongst yourselves. There we go, looks lovely. So, beer in the glass, as you would expect, black as night. I mean, the darkest beer you can expect to see. A nice little kind of like ring of quite creamy looking dark brown froth. So, let's check out the aroma. Beautiful. Big, heavy roast malt. It's definitely got that kind of like um, charred burr ends of kind of like a, a joint of beef. Loads of coffee. The coffee's quite an earthy, dark, full, heavy roast. The chocolate, if you've never had 100% um, cacao, I'm presuming it might be the same um, cacao I put in. Um, me and Richard put in our beer Dead Metaphor that we brewed up at Brewdog. So it's got a real kind of like acidity and a sharpness and a kind of like a weird blunt kind of waxiness to it. There's a kind of like a, um, a cherries that have been soaked in some kind of liqueur. There's a hint of um, kind of port or kind of the... Um, there's, a, there's a barrel character to it, definitely. I think it's because it is quite a boozy beer. Definitely kind of like um, really intense vanilla extract. <sighs> Loads of molasses, brown sugar. There is a little hint of greenness of uh, maybe of, of the chilli. <sighs> so there is a bit of, a bit of a tickle of chilli in the nose actually. But that smells beautifully. It smells like proper imperial stout. My taste buds are going like the clappers. It's just full coffee, beefy, chocolatey. Whoa, it's a, it's a beast. I thought it was a little bit, I said I thought it was a little bit older, loads of actually um, currants as well. Maybe a hint of, oh you could talk about it forever, I'm sure when I get this in my mouth I'm going to ramble on for another five minutes. So let's, Without further ado, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, Brewdog knocked these beers out of the park. It's ridiculous. ABO4, you probably saw me re review that. If you haven't, please check that out. That had a little bit more age on it, so I think it kind of lost its way a little bit. This is on the button. Look at beers like... Um, Black Tokyo Horizon that they did. You could even look a little bit further back to something. Well, not further back, but it was like down the scale to one of their um, their their permanent um, Imperial Stout, Coco Psycho. It's definitely got a kind of like trademarks where you get in that beer. This will have been a brewed up at Fraserburgh. 
which baffles the mind. I mean, I, I've brewed up at Fraserburgh. I mean, it's a bit of a ramshackle little, kind of quite a very basic brewery, the old brewery. And um, it's incredible that they'll be able to produce a beer of this high quality. I mean, this le this packaging, this the, the kind of the attention to detail speaks way, way beyond the capabilities of that tiny little brewery up in Fraserburgh, just off the beach, in that kind of ramshackle um, industrial unit. This is beautiful. Yeah, full-ish mouthfeel. It's not, it's not, it's not gloopy and and um, kind of velvet-like. It's a little bit toned down from that. I still it's drinkable. Fifteen point one percent. I said the coffee's heavy roast. Loads of really intense dark chocolate actually. Yeah, there's a tang of maybe hops to a certain degree, but more, probably more is tang of um, like black malt or maybe roasted barley. There is a warmth of alcohol, to be, to be honest. The weather's lousy tonight, it's kind of beer I'd want to drink. There's a, there's a sort of peachiness to it as well. <coughs> Definitely a burnt sugar, burnt brown sugar. The back end, coffee, big roast. And a, and a, yeah, and a kind of like a, Definitely a bitterness of, of the, those kind of acidic uh, dark malts and the kind of espresso, that sharp, sharp bitterness you get from espresso. Not getting a hell of a lot of that um, chilli, which is fine by me. It's over a year and a half old. That's dropped off. Leaving it ridiculously drinkable for its ABV. It's definitely going to put me to sleep tonight, that's no, <laughs> there's going to be no doubt about that. But a lovely sipping beer, a beer that is just perfect for my, for my occasion. That's why I, I finally took that, um, took that step, cracked this special beer open on a day like today. We're just coming up to Christmas, so it's, it's just perfect. Oh, that, that's just, that's beautiful. Yeah, I am getting warmth in the throat, which is probably a combination of alcohol and the chilli. But wow, what a beer. I've had, a, I've had a dog B over there on draft. I've got a bottle um, over there, so that'll be coming up in the sometime, maybe another year and a half's time, I don't know. But that is beautiful. Is it bottle conditioned? No, it's not. Great, let's get this all in your bugger. Not wasting the drop. Incredible. Perfect. This is where it's at. No messing around. That is a bottle of Brewdog's Dog A. Their celebration of five years of Brewdog. A 15.1% ABV Imperial Stout with cacao, coffee and naga chilli. Incredible. I'm Rob from Popzine.com. This is On The Button and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.